I'm very happy to introduce Mr. Mohammad Shakib. Mr. Mohammad Shakib, he has secured All India first rank in the 2025 in civil engineering branch. Very hearty congratulations, Shakib. Thank you again, sir. Uh, Mr. Mohammad Shakib has got excellent uh, academic track record. Uh, this year, he has got All India first rank in the engineering service examination civil engineering branch. And last year, 2024, he secured All India rank 1515 in the ESC. And before that, in the gate 2024 also, he has secured All India rank 6. And he is uh, he had his graduation from IIT Patna. And he is from Uttar Pradesh. Excellent track record. Muhammad Shakib, apart from this, uh, do you want to add anything about your background academically and anything else from your native place? No, sir. I uh, simply did uh, up to 12th. I did my schooling from Baraj only. And then my BTEC from IIT Patna from 2019 to 2023. And then I have decided to pursue career in engineering services. Okay. Uh, Mr. Shakib, uh, when did you complete your BTEC and when did you get this idea of preparing for this engineering service examination? Sir, I have completed my BTEC in 2023. And then I have taken uh, this offline coaching and uh, prepared for the engineering services as well as gate examination. Okay, right. So initially you got a sixth rank in the gate, gate 2024, yes, right? And then ESC 15th rank and this year all India first rank. Yes, sir. Okay. Shakib, what was your first reaction after coming to know about your all India first rank? Sir, uh, I have already secured all India rank 15 last year and this year I was expecting the similar rank. Uh, but uh, I was not expecting the first rank. I was expecting that I will get a rank under 20. Uh, but uh, it was an unexpected thing uh, for me to get the uh, rank 1. I have never dreamed of it as well. Because I thought that uh, there are many students who are more hardworking than me. And they should get this rank. Okay. But uh, it so, was an unexpected thing. So you are already having the Alien rank of 15. Yes, sir. So presently, how are you occupied? Sir, I am currently working in the military engineering services. Are so, doing training. Okay, so yes, you again uh, took this uh, ESC exam. Yes, sir. Maybe you are dreaming of joining IRMS, right? Yes, sir. Because of railways, I again appeared for the engineering services examination. Okay, okay, good. Uh, uh, Shakib, uh, it seems as per records, uh, uh, you have availed uh, the prelims uh, online test series from the S Academy. Yes, sir. You please tell us our prelims online test series how of S Academy, yes, how sir. it helped you in your preparation and cracking this examination, sir, such a wonderful rank. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. So, online test series is very much helpful and uh, giving four or five full length test paper is very much essential to appear in the real examination. It will uh, uh, help us to know uh, in how much time we have to solve the questions, how accurately and it will er eradicate the mistakes that we are doing continuously in the real examination. So, more number of test series, more number of full length test paper, it will be better. Then uh, it will uh, help to secure a good marks in the actual examination and it will avoid any human error That's okay. as well. Very good, Dr. Shakib. Shakib, in our yes online test series, yes, sir. so where you used to stand rank wise? Sir, um, rank wise uh, 10, 12, sometimes 6, 7. So, I was good uh, in that test series. Sir. Okay. See, uh, Shakib, you got initially the sixth rank in the gate examination, then already a 15th rank in the ESC, and this year in your first rank. So, how you used to improvise uh, your preparation year by year? Sir, uh, I used to solve the questions since uh, uh, main score, prelims question, main question, and gate PYQ, and these things were sufficient to clear the examination. And since more with the more number. With the passing years, I got the more experience, more number of questions I have solved. So that was reflected in the actual ranks. And I want to add that uh, every success but led to some what you call boosting your confidence. Also, yes, sir, yes, sir. Right? That is yes, also equally important. Yes, nowadays, right? uh, Shakib, uh, if you talk about this uh, prelims examination, there are 10 topics in the ESC, right? Did you prepare all the 10 topics with equal emphasis? Otherwise, did you give any priority, anything over emphasis of any other topic there in out of the 10 topics? Few subjects are uh, very much uh, essential, important and you have to cover it because uh, there is a high chance that the question will come from th those subjects. Like one is drawing, then uh, second one is uh, material science, project management. Then uh, these three subjects uh, 
or uh, like uh, we will get uh, uh, the exact same answer same questions that is mentioned in the workbook and we should prepare it in a well say like quality yeah uh, so these subjects are very essential but you have to give equal importance to all those 10 subjects and you may leave uh, the current affairs because it has a very vast syllabus so it will be difficult to cover that current affairs rest nine subjects you can uh, deal with it now what about this ict and then ethics etc these topics normally uh, they are felt somewhat difficult by the students there what was your approach in those topics ict ethics uh, means uh, they have very broad uh, subjects means uh, all things will not be covered in the classroom but uh, those which is actually covered in the classroom you have to be focused on those topics and uh, pray that uh, some topics are relevant uh, that comes in the examination are relevant and that is already taught in the classroom so if you are able out of 9 or 10 questions if you are able to solve 5 questions from ICT or ethics then that is a very good thing see this general topics of if you talk about the prelims right they are very vast and what was the source of uh, material for your preparation of, for this prelims examination? Sir, uh, Did you prepare uh, any coaching material otherwise any test book as such? I just I want to know. Uh, uh, not test books sir. I prefer the classroom notes and then PYQs. Okay. And, the, and the, those questions which are already in the text book. Okay. Uh, uh, Shakib, one more thing. Uh, see, did you see the prelims exam was over in the month of uh, June, right? Yes, sir. And mains exam was in the month of August. Yes, sir. You had a gap of two months or so, right? So in your preparation, did you prepare simultaneously for prelims and mains examination? Otherwise, uh, up to prelims exam, only prelims syllabus, prelims uh, questionnaire. And after prelims examination, did you focus specifically extra for the mains? What was your approach for prelims and then the mains examination? Sir, since I am a repeater, I have already secured a rank of 15th. So, uh, uh, preparing for the mains was not a difficulty for me because I already completed my entire syllabus of the mains. So, first I have focused uh, for the prelims that is of one month and then two months for the mains examination. And since, uh, but for the beginner, uh, he have to prepare similarly for both the examinations to clear the exam. So, your session for the beginners is uh, to prepare prelims syllabus as well as main syllabus simultaneously. simultaneously. Yes, sir. Because, because uh, after prelims exam, you don't get much time to prepare for the main syllabus. Right? Additional syllabus yes, of sir. mains or whatever it may be. Okay. Uh, Shakib, if you talk about this uh, mains examination, yes, many students they say that uh, practicing questions, mock exams, they play a crucial role in the particular in the mains examination. Yes, sir. What was your approach? Sir, solving questions is the main uh, focus of the mains examination. So, for uh, more and more number of questions, for more practice, I used to solve Indian Forest Service uh, mains examination uh, question paper of civil engineering and then civil service examination. Uh, this uh, optional subject, civil engineering, I used to solve and then uh, engineering services mains examination question paper. So, these PYQs, that is. So, these three things, uh, if you are able to solve it, then uh, that will guarantee more like guarantee you that you will uh, end up scoring a high marks in mains examination and uh, this will give you more and more uh, practice and uh, you will ha have a hand on experience on the calculator okay see if you talk about the mains examination we have this paper one and paper two uh, did you i mean uh, i mean to say did you i mean cover all the subjects so thoroughly or any part of the syllabus that you have left over no, I, uh, I used to cover the entire syllabus of the mains examination. Means uh, I do not, have, if you are habit of leaving anything, then uh, it will accumulate uh, one by one, one by one. So it, then you will see that you have left a considerable amount of syllabus. Okay. So on the day of the mains examination, right, you require a lot of time management, good practicing, isn't it, right? Yes, sir. On the day of the mains examination, what was your approach? Did you answer first the compulsory questions? and then went on answering other questions otherwise how did you do that so first i solved the first question that is the compulsory one and then i think then i see part one there are three questions so if uh, i will see that uh, if there is any simple question so i will solve it then i will jump to the part two then fifth question and then see then i have to attempt two more questions then i see in from which section i can take that question extra mm -hmm. so could you answer all the five questions in each paper no sir Time is less. Yes, so, you have to solve only those questions in which you are sure and you will get the answer quickly. 
and then if there are theory portion and you are, you know that uh, there is some chance that you can uh, write relevantly to that question then you can go for the attempt okay right see uh, on the day of the interview right yes sir uh, could you face any question from the interviewer that you got all india 50th rank 15th rank previously in the esc and why you came again for this interview anything as such sir yes sir, they asked the same question but uh, i told them that because of the railways i again appeared for the examination and uh, in my dap also i have filled only irms service and then cpwd Good. so see, seeing the preference list they already get convinced that uh, okay he is uh, only appearing for the uh, so, this is one of the interesting point, uh, Mr. Shakib. So, in the DAF, you opted only two services, yes, sir. RMS and then CPWD. CPWD. Good. Yes, uh, was there any question from your uh, what you call hobbies, etc., in the interview? Uh, they asked a question from hobby, like uh, my hobby is playing cricket. So, they asked, uh, What do you think about the privatization of the cricket stadium? Mm -hmm. And then uh, one more question was there. Okay. Any other interesting question from the interview? Mostly my interview went on a more on a technical side. Okay. So they have uh, asked only technical uh, technical questions. So and how long did it uh, last in the interview duration? It may be around uh, 25 minutes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Shakib, from this uh, successful journey, yes, securing 6th rank in the gate exam last year, 15th rank and this year All India 1st rank, uh, can you please share some of the tips and sessions to the aspirants of uh, engineering service examination in general and civil students in particular sir uh, for uh, for the uh, all the aspirants who are preparing for the gate and engineering services examination i i only want to convey one message that uh, prepare uh, solve more and more number of questions and uh, especially the mains question because this will help you to gain uh, more and more experience so in the examination and you will be able to retain more knowledge for a longer duration of time so this will be helpful in uh, during the exam time uh, when the time will be very crucial and uh, you will be able to recall those uh, which you have studied earlier in a very quick time yes sir okay and one last question particularly see uh, how many hours you used to work daily what was the actual plan did you i mean uh, cover multiple subjects daily otherwise a particular subject in a particular time what was your daily preparation plan? Sir, I used to study 10 hours per day and my aim is to solve uh, only a particular subject, like particular subject for uh, 4 or 5 days, uh, till then, uh, till up to which it gets completed. If it is complete, hai, hmm. then I will go, I mean, 5 days or 10 days, but I have to complete that subject, ko mujhe complete karna hai, then I will jump to the another subject. So this is my, this was my strategy during hmm. the mains classes. Sir. Mains classes. Yes, sir. So, what do you do in the Multiple subjects say padhe, right? Single subject at a single, single time. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, good. And uh, did you prepare any short notes in your preparation? Sir, during the prelims examination, I have not prepared any short notes because uh, it is more like theoretical and uh, the questions are not based on the empirical formulas. Mm. Uh, but uh, during the mains, uh, mains classes, I if there is any formula, empirical formula mostly, which I am not able to uh, retain it for a longer duration of time. So, I... I keep the, those formulas in a, in a single book. Okay. So, uh, before going to the examination, like uh, before one day before the examination, I look at those formulas. Those are mostly empirical formulas. So, to if so that if any question comes uh, on that those uh, formulas, so I will be able to solve it okay. in a very quick time. Right. And one last question. And uh, uh, many students, uh, they fail in making a proper revision. So, in your case, so, how we used to cover this revision work? Sir, uh, for the first time, I was also very struggling for the revision part. But then, uh, for, then uh, for first, second attempt and then third attempt, since uh, I have already covered my entire syllabus, so it was very easy for me for completing the revision, for doing the revision. So, like I have solved six to seven times the PYQ of engineering services, mains and uh, prelims examination. Very good, Shakib for sparing your valuable time and uh, sharing your uh, preparation tips with the aspirants of the ESC exam. I once again take the opportunity to congratulate you. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. And your parents must be very proud of you. And yes, even we too, ES Academy also very proud of you. And Thank wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir.